they made a statue of us and they put it on a mountain top now tourists come and stare at us blow bubbles with their gum take photographs of fun have fun Welcome to Yamath School. Yamath is based in a small village just outside Penrith. We have about 115 children on roll. Most of those come from Penrith town or from the surrounding villages, with quite a few children coming from hill farms right up on the edge of Oldswatch, so a really mixed crew. Um, this is my fourth year at, at Yamath, and my passion for teaching really, and then for education in general, is that it should be lifelong and meaningful. I think the children at Yamath School are really unique and special all in their own way. We encourage our children to be creative, independent thinkers. We're not here to spoon feed them, we want them to think for themselves and do for themselves. At the core of all this is what skills are we going to teach our children that are going to last them through life. With every project we do we use this journey book. We start off by putting skills ladders at the back of our book and we look at all these skills use these skills and then at the end with all these skills we've done we make a big project. It's good because you get you get to play and you get to learn lots more stuff. We're in our pajamas today. Our topic's terrific tales and we're going and we are going to write bedtime stories. Mm. Playtime! Play time. We have four school drivers. Uh, they include creative arts, which is a combination of art, music, dance and drama. We also really care about the pastoral elements of education, so the children learn to look after each other and themselves. In the Kids Consortium, we are trying to be good role models for the younger ones. Uh, we're also very focused on the local community and on human rights. As part of our wonderful world, we've been looking at declarations of human rights. We had to put it into our own language, a poem, a prayer or a speech. I had a dream that the world would be perfect one day. But will we? With all these wars and fights we're having. Will we? With all these arguments and deaths we're having. Will we? We need to stop. We need to think. Will we? Women should be able to walk down the street without a man with them. We should be able to walk down the street without a gun or a knife of protection. No one should be starving. No one should be tortured. We have the right to be free and different. So will we? And for me, my main driver would be enterprise. Um, so most of our projects would end up, end up with a project that's business orientated. In our school, we do different enterprise projects. Um, one of the more recent projects we've done is the Fair Trade Cafe. Um, this helps raise money for people in different countries in poverty. Mm -hmm. 